Keep. word on wheel what's happening jeep creepers so um a lot of you might ask yourself where did the channel name come from well it could be from this jeep it could be from this jeep but uh i had a uh a 95 uh yj back in the day it could have been from that jeep but really let's see the most current jeep when i started the channel was that jeep oh my goodness look at that what you are looking at, I got the hood up and I got the wrong size battery in it right now, but normally the hood goes down. The windshield also goes down. Um, what you're looking at is a Power Wheels Jeep. And it is built on a kid's 110cc four-wheeler. So uh, it's pretty quick. It's actually faster than it should be for the wheels I got on it. I think I'm gonna have to upgrade the wheels or do some offsets or something because she's sketchy um the rear suspension on this is not built for a full-size adult like myself uh, full size plus some and uh it gets a little bit sketch having all your weight um disproportionately on the rear wheels so i need to adjust the the rear shock which i think these are adjustable yeah it's got an adjuster on there so i can try to tighten that up a little bit and uh you know it's just the a cheap Chinese four-wheeler. It's got, you know, A-arms in the front, adjustable shocks in the front. These aren't bad in the front. Um, it's the uh, the backs that I worry about. I got some Baja lights. I use regular lights. I'm going to switch these, I think, to LED. But uh, let's check her out and go for a spin, eh? Being a high center of gravity and, uh, you know, mismatched with the weight on the suspension. I gotta do some tweaking to get this thing all the way good. And before you say, oh man, that's overdone, blah, 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 grind hard plumbing does these and he uses motorcycle motors and they're quick and they're fast and 
They're super cool. Well, guess what, guys? I made this 15 years ago. I don't know if anybody was making these 15 years ago. Um, there was a crazy group of Canadians I saw a video, and they used the same method uh, on YouTube. That was it. Um, people weren't doing this kind of stuff that far back. So um, I didn't make a channel of it. I should have because I would have been, you know, one of the earlier ones other than those Canadians. I forgot what their name was. But uh, if anybody's interested, I could find the video. Um, but they did a bunch, uh, and they basically did the same thing. Uh, you know, body on uh, kids' four-wheeler kind of model. And I think some of them were custom frames, but uh, not all of them. Uh, these are pretty simple. Um, you know, Grindhard Plumbing, yes, he's awesome, okay? Uh, his are way better. He's got insanely fast ones. He's got insanely awesome suspension. They can jump, they can fly and everything. Mine is sketchy. Um, <laughs> It's more of a uh, parade car than anything. It's not going to be a superior off-roader. So, uh, yeah. Um, but calling all cool guys out there that do, does this kind of stuff, I could use some wheel suggestions. Um, what should I put on this? As you can see, I got plenty of space. The current wheels on here um, have this triple bolt pattern with the center hole and the current wheel on here is a 145 by 70 by 6. So, uh, what do you guys think I should put on this thing? I mean, like offset wheels to get them to stick out wider? I don't honestly know. I mean, uh, I've never modified a kid's four-wheeler before. It's a, it's a Tau Tau 110, I believe, is the model. Um, so, you know, give me some ideas out there and, uh, I can make this a future build. Um, I'm gonna use real LED brake lights as well and signals and stuff, and it's just, just for a joke. I've got a, a stereo I'm gonna put in it too um, so I can have a nice stereo to listen to. Um, my ultimate goal for this is uh, I live on a dirt road, you know, where golf carts, four wheelers, the whole nine uh, fly down all day long, every day, snowmobiles, you know, uh, RZ, uh, razors, uh, everything. So, uh, I want to get into that action, but, uh, you definitely need to pad the seat. <laughs> Riding around on a plastic seat hurts your butt after a while too. Um, so that'll be something else I'll come up with, but, uh, yeah, start shooting me ideas, guys. I love the feedback. Mm -hmm.